and the man Moses was very great in the land of Egypt, in the sight of Pharaoh's servants and in the sight of the people. And Moses said, So we have a Pharaoh who did not know Joseph, but loved Joseph. And now what do we have? Uh, an, another Jew who the Egyptians adore. Mm-hmm. Well, it's just ironic. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Joseph and now Moses. Mm-hmm. That, that language is used of Joseph as well, isn't it? it yeah. Let's see. With regard to the people, no, I don't think so. But I, it, they knew he saved their lives. So, one, But in one this assumes. case, did they, I don't know if they adored him. At least it says that they he listened, was great. Joseph? No, Moses. They say he was great oh, in their sight. Fine. Okay, that's fair enough. They might have enough. been scared yes. of him more than So bo- both of them were great in their sight. Yeah, they were great Whether in their sight. they adored them or not. Yeah. Question. For sure, Joseph they loved. That's for sure. There's Where no are you that. emotionally? I'm just curious about this. In Like, are you, when you're reading this, are you reading this in eager anticipation of the Pharaoh being punished? Are you reading this in trepidation? Mm-hmm. And because I, I remember when it's I used to me, it's more trepidation. It's like, it's I think because like I probably terror. identify with the Pharaoh. You do. Well, in the, you, you mean remember, about losing a child? Yeah, about just what's about coming. the consequences of your own stupidity. It's like, like are you feeling are you feeling vindicated? Like ve- right, like vengeful that you're hoping that the Pharaoh is going to get his? Mm. Are you feeling uh-huh. remorse and empathy for what's coming? What is your emotional? Because I remember I used to read in like high school history when you'd read like World War One and World War Two. It's like you have that sense of being ensconced. Like I really hope that America wins, right? Like mm. you're mm. you have this emotional mm. positioning in relation to reading history, even if you know the outcome. Yeah. And I'm just curious. But in this, well, like. There's this this growing looming threat, as if God is saying, "This is don't, don't if you don't listen, this is where we're going." He's not telling you where we're going yet. It's almost like a very it's like in a movie, right? You can feel the music like coming up, yeah. and you can feel the threat, and you know, like, please let it stop before it reaches that point. You don't even know where it's going, and then once it gets there, I I don't think is it possible to not feel sad for the Egyptians and to not feel sympathy and to not wish that the Pharaoh had broken before? And it's like, you get there and you're like, oh. Dennis, how about you? Uh, I hope Pharaoh gets his. Yeah. I, I admit that. I knew though, I could count on what you What about the Egyptians? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> that's why I was just waiting. I was Is that a good sign or a bad sign? <laughs> well, we he's know clearly Dennis the villain. likes revenge. No, he's, clearly, he's clearly the villain. And <laughs> yes, there, there exactly. Is I want villains to get punished. I don't know. I, I'm, but do you want I, the I, villains I, to learn before they have to pay the ultimate price? That's such a Christian question. <laughs> I know. That's that, why I that that want to get Prager's take on this. I don't give a damn if they learn before they die. I want them to die (laughs) because i i'm more concerned with good people i I don't want good people to suffer so so whether pharaoh learns or not is between pharaoh and pharaoh but between pharaoh and me he has to be punished but the great lesson which is of course unlearned like most great lessons is people people do really like tyrants there's no way around it The, the, the uh, one of you mentioned this, and I, I didn't, so I didn't bother commenting on it. But polls in in Russia pr- prior to, uh, to to Ukraine uh, sh- showed the increasing proportions of of the Russian people adore Stalin. Yeah. Well, that's but, the same thing that happens to well, the Israelites. They, they complain to Moses them. about... Because they, they want a monarch? No, they want to go back to Egypt. Oh, well, well, the go back, okay, the there you go. Do that's they right. adore Stalin or they endure order? And the greatness of Russia. I, I know Russians now. Also, one might who, who what who what uh, who admire the, uh, the order under. Yeah, well, there was order. There's always order under a tyrant. No, but, but one That's what I mean. To, yes. Okay. So, you so order right. rather than well, disorder. Freedom is messy. In this text, and the it people don't like it messy. You, but they still are happy when the tyrant. There's falls. also some question about the veracity of polling under Stalin. No, no. There's no, polling no, now. No, not poll, of course. And polling on the Stalin means nothing. Polling today, I mean, oh, I yeah, there's, there's in, in the last few years, there's definitely uh, yes. we'll call that nostalgia about. for. But I, some of that's ignorance too. You know, they look back and they just see the greatness, so to speak. So, right, but it's willful ignorance. Yeah, I know. But don't you think in this text, same with it is clear. It seems like in this text, it's clear that there is. A, it's trying to show us that the people of Egypt now find the Israelites find favor in their sight. Mm-hmm. They're giving them jewels and things for them to leave. And they had, they see Moses as being very powerful in their sight. And then in the text itself, it switches right away to saying, now all the firstborn will die. And it says of the Pharaoh. And then it says to the woman behind the mill. 
Mm-hmm. And so it's like right in the text, a few verses from each other, you see the people have compassion for the Israelites, and then it says, no, but their children are going to die too. Yeah. So that's why I feel like there, there's a, there is a sense sad. in which that, we're meant to right. have compassion, that's correct. even for the Egyptians in the narrative. But Dennis, take Weimar, and how many Germans were grateful for the order that Hitler seemed to bring, and then they suddenly realized... Even well, they, it, they, it loved, just, uh, they loved order I, I, rather than of, the Weimar chaos. I tend not to defend the Germans, but it, it is fair to say that Hitler didn't get a majority of the vote. The Nazis didn't get a majority vote. Willful. But between the communists and the Nazis, they did get a majority. The, the, the tyranny parties did, did, did win out. No, but I, to your I'm with you on the come up. Yeah, yeah, uh, thank I you. Pray I know da- I had a feeling. Yeah. I pray yes. daily that Putin will get his come up. Yeah. I really do pray. Right. Mm-hmm. Your yeah. point of willful blindness, I mean, that holds both ways. Like you have polling now about communism, right? You have polling. I think this has to do with, with like we, a generational remove from the horrors of both Stalin and what happened in communism, right? So it is both directions. You mean both willful and and just normal? Is that what you're saying? No, I I mean that it's not just that that people look back fondly on tyrants. People look back fondly on communism now. They were removed from a certain distance of it. So the willful blindness and the ignorance Uh. isn't Listen, the, the, the number of Americans and, and, and English who gave Stalin the bomb, uh, the, the, the flirtation with tyranny on the part of Western intellectuals is among the most depressing facts of the 20th century. The Eastern, Europe- quite, yeah. Eastern no, Europeans who experienced yes. communism, they don't look bad. That's right. Mm. But I mean, what, like when we're polling today, oh, you right, mean if you Western? poll, yeah, in the, in the West, if you poll well, now on communism, they're, they're people ignorant. have an idea, right. And likewise with, with tyranny, like if, you know, if, if Stalin's doing what, well What percentage polls, of Harvard seniors do you think could identify Pol Pot? Like, I, I would say 5%. Yeah, I think you're probably being optimistic on that uh-huh. front. Okay. I mean, when I taught about the, the gulag catastrophes or the catastrophes of the Soviet Union. Oh, gulag Union, too. Go, just say Hardly gulag. any of my students That's have right. ever heard of any of that. That's hardly right. Hardly any of them today have heard of Solzhenitsyn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, sir. Oh, oh, that's a given. Right, but Pol Pot, you know, one of the yeah. great mass murderers, he yeah. killed a quarter of his own people. Oh, I know. By the way, these tyrants killed... Hitler is the only of, of the tyrants that didn't mostly slaughter his own people. Yeah. Pol Pot killed Cambodians, Mao killed Chinese, uh, Stalin killed Russians, it's, it, and, they, and they're still held in esteem. How about Mussolini? Well, he wasn't a mass murderer. Uh, he's not in their category. He was a tyrant, but he's not in their category. Italians don't make that type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Italians make lousy tyrants. Yeah, yeah. 